All right, this one is for the guitar players out there as well. But we are going to do a reaction video to a video called One of the Most Underrated Guitarists of All Time. His name is Craig Ross. Craig Ross, as many people know, played with Lenny Kravitz. And uh, we've had a number of people in the comment section say that uh, how amazing he is. I've only known him from his hits. But uh, let's check this video out and uh, see what's up. Craig Ross. I wonder if he's related to Bob Ross. Because that dude could paint, right? Just, just like that. Going out a little bit of paint. Anyway, all right, let's check it out here. So obviously this isn't the best quality video. It looked like Lenny Kravitz was over on the keyboards. Uh, but even with, uh, you know, not so good uh, cell phone footage here, I can tell he's got a good tone with his Les Paul. A really good pentatonic player. And, uh, you know, as any good guitarist, he serves up his pentatonic licks very juicy. Just like on the barbecue, very juicy. He's a great pentatonic player, uh, can navigate around using all the five pentatonic boxes all over the neck. Great bends, great vibrato, but he's very expressive with his playing, right? It's really cool to watch him play, really good player. Again, healthy hair growth patterns, which I do not have. Came up a little short in that category for me personally, but uh, can't win them all. Taking that, you know, taking his time doing that slow bend up to pitch. Uh, and he's always in key when he's when he hits his bends and very expressive, slow bend up to the pitch. But he's constantly moving the bend, right? So if you're not constantly moving the bend, you hit go flat, the whole crowd, everyone's going to be like, what is that? But he's really good sense of pitch. Very expressive player. Really cool. I'm really glad you guys uh, mentioned uh, Craig Ross. So again, a great guitar player. I can already tell you his influences. So we're looking at Hendrix, Clapton, um, David Gilmore, the way he does some of his bends, the way he'll sit on that one note, 
definitely uh, like uh, David Gilmore. Um, Jimmy Page, of course. I can just tell by some of the licks he does. Uh, I think he also um, had his periods of being into Leonard Skinner, too. The dynamics, he changed the pickup switch, and he's just playing a little lighter, going with the change of the dynamics. Yeah, so I could, that looks like Lenny Kravitz is back on the keyboards there. So we can see there, one of the first things I notice is the change in cell phone technology with videos because this came out in 2010. And you could tell I'm almost like, man, it almost looked like I filmed that on a Blackberry or something, right? Uh, but uh, even with that lower quality cell phone video, he was a great guitar player. You know, he was really, really into a lot of the 70s guitar players. Uh, with his pentatonic phrasing or whatever, but very good, very expressive. Um, and, you know, you don't get a gig like playing with uh, Lenny Kravitz for nothing. So he must have had a good track record. I think a lot of people don't understand, too, is when you get into that business, it's not just so much about getting the big gigs because you're a great player. Do you want to hire someone in your band who's a, an amazing guitar player but not fun to do business with and who's kind of an a-hole to be around when you're on tour and you got to put up with them all the time or do you want to have someone who's a good guitar player but who you can get along with who's you know understands the way things need to be uh dynamics between band members is an interesting thing you know i had my my interesting encounters when i was younger but you, you know even when you watch a lot of the bigger bands even the beatles like they had you know every day wasn't you know sunshine when they go in and record or write or whatever like i think what's very important uh when you see a lot of people you know join a, a popular band and they're not there for very long and they have to replace them well you know maybe they had to uh get someone who fit the band better their personality playing the music is only part of it so it's very important i think a lot of people don't understand that they think oh man just if you're wicked you know no you gotta you know, that guy probably had a lot of things on his resume. He probably came with a lot of referrals and a lot of recommendations from previous employers. He probably was able to get along with everybody. And when he would leave a gig to go on to another one, he probably did it with class. He probably was like, hey, yeah, I'll finish out this tour. I'll finish out these gigs. Uh, you definitely don't want to leave people high and dry. It'd have to be a very bad situation to do that. So, but very good guitar player. I really enjoyed that. Thank you, guys. Craig Ross, guitar player for Lenny Kravitz. So keep the comments and suggestions coming. Remember, practice hard, practice smart. We'll see you soon. <laughs>